Hello, and welcome to this short video clip where we're going to highlight some of the exciting new features available in WeldSite, Evidence Advanced Analysis and Acquisition Software. My name is Brandon Wrights. I'm a Senior Applications Engineer with Evidence Scientific. Let's go ahead and get started. So all we've got here is a data file collected on the OmniScan X364 in Phase Coherence Imaging, or PCI. This is a double V, one inch thick weld inspection. Uh, it's a dual sided. They were performed separately. So single sided exam and the two data files were file merged together. So we can view those simultaneously here. Four groups, 2T and a 4T. Just take a look through the data file here. We can see some indications popping up. But let's go ahead and do a data merge. So analysis merge. We have TFM selected in data type. And we're going to merge our 2T groups from both sides. In our displays here, we've got our merge end view on the right hand side. On the top left is going to be our top view or our C scan view and our side view on the bottom left hand side. So once we get these two files merged together, we'll be able to look at those two, two T groups simultaneously utilizing different gates, cursor positions, uh, allowing us to gate out the flaws in different ways as you would in a typical phased array merge. Just rolling through the data here, we can see we've got a heat affected zone crack coming up on the far side. Running along, uh, lack, uh, root penetration here. Likely a sidewall lack of fusion. And uh, in this one right here, there's actually some nice uh, cluster of porosity, which PCI really highlights and excels in. You can see each individual pore as we kind of roll through that data. I'm going to pull up another display here. So just adding in the two unmerged groups as well kind of helps us see what's going on, see those individual pores from different sides of the weld and how it really pops out. Also kind of helps us, you know, determine maybe is, uh, whether something's a planar flaw, really catching it with a lot of amplitude on our 270 SKU versus on our 90 SKU. So with that merge comes our modeling. We can turn on our probe and enable our data. I'm going to pull up another display here. So we can look at our merge display as well as our rendered 3D model here. We can run through see exactly where the fly, flaws lie. You can see our cap geometry coming in at the bottom. Uh, great for reporting, great for showing off to engineers. It's an all around uh, nice feature to have along in weld site. There's a lot of different options as far as filtering out the data, showing just what you'd like to display. So maybe we just want to highlight the indications. We can make a few adjustments. So as I said, just a short, quick run through here. We're going to come out with a few more videos, so uh, keep an eye out of some of the new features that WeldSight has to offer. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your local sales rep, myself, uh, and have a great day.